Hi friends, I'm John. Welcome back to Hot Topics in the News. Simon, thank you for joining me today. It's always good to be here. Yes, it is. We're talking about immersive sound today. It is on the rise. We've uh, had virtual reality for a while, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Where you can... You know, uh, that's those headsets people put on and it's supposed to feel like everywhere you look, you're looking around in this environment that isn't really there. It's just virtual, right? Yeah. I assume immersive sound is kind of the same thing. When you uh, immerse yourself, it's like you go underwater in a pool, so you're surrounded by it. So I assume it's like being in the real environment. But I'm sort of guessing that because at one point, uh, fairly recently in the last few months, I bought a new pair of earphones. Oh, yeah. from Well, like Apple? The, the buds, the little ones that go in your ears. and. The thing was, I put on a podcast and noticed that when I turned my head, the focus of the sound was shifting. Whoa. So it was as though the person who was speaking was really in the room with me. Weird. In one spot. Wow. You know, and at first I was like, make it stop. Yeah. <laughs> make it stop. <laughs> but as you get used to it, it, it does feel like you're really there. Cool. You know, in it, an audio way, you know. Because yeah. obviously there's no person there, you're not looking at them or whatever. So did you? So you didn't like it at first, but eventually, would you want to pretty much always have that experience? Well, it's just kind of odd because it's like you know, depending on which way you're turning your head, the volume of the speaker is kind of going up or down. Mm, yeah. You know, so you you might be turning your head because you're you're trying not to get hit by a guy on a bicycle, yeah. and all of a sudden it's like hard to hear what's going on, right? Yeah. So if you're a person who's like walking with sort of alertness. Mm. This could be a real problem for getting consistent sound. But, you know, I think it's a realistic experience, yeah. which is kind of interesting. It is. Yeah. And sometimes just hammering out the kinks in a new technology has this awkward stage. Maybe not yeah. everything is better heard that way. Well, you know, I mean, at some point I'm going to learn how to turn it off in the yeah. settings, right? right? So I can turn it on or turn <laughs> it off. and. Once that happens, I'll be ready to go. Yeah, well, it's really cool in the movie theater when, let's say, a plane is flying across the screen and you hear it on one side and it goes to the other. Immersive sound has been around for a while, but the market share is getting a lot bigger. It's at about $7.7 .7 billion and is expected in the next 10 years to move up to about double that, 14.7 billion USD by 2033. Will that happen? We'll see, but keep an eye on it. This sort of technology is everywhere. Earphones, home stereo systems. Are you an audio guy? I'm generally not a high-end audio consumer. I usually take kind of a wait and see mm -hmm. approach to these things. Like, yeah. you know what, you'll remember at one point, it's like the quality of televisions was getting better and better and better. Right. But really in society at the same time, we were just looking to switch everything to our phones. Mm. So that, that kind of effort on quality was kind of wasted in a lot of ways. That's right, you don't right. have to get every generation. Just wait, you know, wait 10 wait years. Wait and see, <laughs> wait and see. see. You know? Well friends, this has been Hot Topics in the News, wait and see. <laughs> we'll see you next week.